Hey everybody, we're going to open a pathway today. So it's a really simple one. We just want to take this door here that I built. <laughs> Don't mind the textures. And have it open up for this player controller whenever they are close to it and press a key. We're then going to implement uh, a lock system. So real quick, this is the little setup I have. We just have a little player controller that can move around and walk up to the door. If I press a key, we'll say F, it does nothing. So we need to set that up. First things first, we're going to need to uh, have our animation for our door. So we're going to select that, and then we're going to hit Control and then 6, and go to Create. We'll name it Open. And then you want to tick this little recorder right here. And make sure we're on our first frame, just move it a little bit so it uh, registers a keyframe. And then we'll pop over here to two seconds or so, and then just move it to its final open position. That'll work fine, it's nothing fancy. Then we're going to take that and we're going to duplicate that with Control c and then create a new animation and name it is open. Just click over here and hit Control v and now we have an animation for it to fall back onto after it completes its animation. Pop over here into the animator, and we're going to create a new state that's going to be our default state. So right click, set as default layer, then we're going to right click on our open state, make transition, drag it over to is open. As you can see, it transitions smoothly into the animation. Now we need to make it react to our player. So we're going to set up a trigger system. What we're going to do is create a cube and just sit it right in front of the door here. Make sure it's big enough that the player is going to be in it because they're not going to be able to see it. This is just going to gauge their proximity to the door. And a really important thing is in the box collider to make sure is trigger is selected. Now we're going to add a new component and add a finite state machine. Click edit. First things first, we want to uh, select an event. So we're going to select finished. That's just kind of a nice default one. Then we're going to go in uh, action browser and add in a trigger event. So it's an on trigger enter. We select collider tag, select player, and then under send event, select finished. Then we're going to right click, add new state, right click on the first state, select transition, select finish, and drag it over. Now we're going to add another action in. This one's going to be our player input. So we're going to go for get key down, if I can find it right. There we are, get key down. And we're going to select the F key, just because that takes a nice long time to get down to. All right, and then our send event is going to be finished as well. Now we're going to add another new state in and add our transition from our previous state to our new one action browser and we're going to go to animator play now in our state name we want to type open just how we did for our animation how we named it and then on use owner we want to select specify game object and then drag our door object into that I think it's cube 9 here oh it is not cube 8 so we'll just grab our door and drop it right there. And all right, that should be pretty much good to go. Uh, also, it's nice and easy to just add an audio play right there. I'm not going to bother adding in any sounds, but you get the idea. You can drop your audio file right there. All right, one more thing. You want to select uh, Mesh Renderer. Just disable that so that that cube isn't getting in the way. 
I'm going to rename this so that I don't lose track of things. And now we need to select our player, select tag, and then select player so that it knows to react to that. We can actually watch our finite state machine switch through its states based on our input and proximity to the door. So we're going to check it out here. We see we're in our first state, and then we walk into the cube and trigger our second state. And then upon pressing the F key, we trigger our animation and open the door up. All right, we've now created a door that we can open based on player input. Next step is to set up a key system. This is actually pretty simple to do. We're going to do a little bit of patchwork with this uh, finite state machine. But first things first, we need some sort of key. So for now, what I'm going to do is just throw in a placeholder. We're going to create another cube, and that's going to act as our key. And we'll just scooch it over away from the door a little bit so we're able to test properly. Also make sure is trigger is selected, and then we're going to add a finite state machine. Again, we need to go to our event browser and select finished. And hop in our action browser, and we'll do another trigger event. Collider tag, player, event, finished. We're going to add in a new state. We're going to do a destroy self. So we've essentially we've simulated collecting that key, and then we're going to do um, a float. So we'll select add float. And we're going to create a new global variable and name it key. No problem. And we're going to type in 1. So it'll add 1 to the global variable key. And we make a transition from one to the other. And then we need to do some patchwork on our trigger finite state machine should be fairly easy. I'm just going to drag these states over here and add a new one. And now we're going to do a float compare. Our first float, we're just going to select variable, go to globals, select key. Second float, we're going to put one, and then under equal to, we select finished. And then make sure to tick every frame. Add a transition in and just patch it right into the finite state machine. Pop this out of the way. And hit play. As you see, we're in our first state. We've now hit our trigger, and as I press F, nothing happens. And it's because we're not passing that float compare. We go over to our key, collect it, switch states, and bam. F, animation works. So we now have a lock and key system using Playmaker and Unity. If this has been helpful at all, like, share, subscribe, help me out, small channel. Hope that I can come back with more soon. Y'all take it easy and be safe.